All right, can you introduce yourself? My name is Dieter Müller. I'm a professor of geography at Umeå University in Northern Sweden, and I was the host of the second IPTRN conference in Arbisko in Northern Sweden. And uh, I think it was the only occasion where the IPTRN actually passed the Arctic Circle to the north, because Arbisko is located north of the Arctic Circle. And uh, the village of Arbisko is kind of a very small village that actually is pretty recent in its history because it was a result of the railway that was built in order to connect the Kiruna iron ore uh, fields uh, to the harbor of Narvik. So a lot of the tourism in that area is kind of developed around the railway that brought people into the area. And today it's also a spot for, for a lot of uh, aurora borealis watching the best spot in Sweden, some people would argue. Um, I think in a Swedish context, polar tourism is a rather, or that we talk about polar tourism is a rather recent phenomenon, because historically we would have seen it rather in kind of a context of the Swedish kind of domestic tourism kind of sphere. But I think increasingly we realize the similarities with other parts of the world if it comes to tour northern tourism and Arctic tourism. So issues that are highlighted are, for instance, uh, Sami tourism, but also land use conflict related to tourism and, and other land uses, not least uh, natural resource harvesting. And moreover, uh, the role of tourism for regional development and sustaining local communities is an important issue in the research that we are doing in northern Sweden on, on uh, tourism in the north. So why was it important to host the IPTRN in this regional context? I think it's, uh, I mean, for a Swedish case, it's of course, that is our Arctic. And, uh, and, and for, for that sake, I think it's important to be there. But, but then also, I think it's kind of an important um, lesson to be learned from, from that spot or, or to compare it with other spots because of its uh, location in a, in a rather densely populated area. I mean, it's still empty in a way, but, but there are the connections to, to more populated places are much better than elsewhere. So, and also I think it's important to, to highlight this kind of connection of natural resource extraction and tourism, which are going hand in hand. And the IPTRN, how has it been important to your own research? I think it has been a takeoff uh, for maybe not particularly myself, but, but certainly for people at our department in order to, to kind of have that as an avenue of, of future research. Uh, to also see what we are doing in an Arctic context rather than seeing it just in a global context. Right. And I think that has been important and is still important, not least considering recent political development and, and the, the fact that the Arctic is hot even in Sweden.